watching WGAL 8. Now, coverage you can count on continues from the Susquehanna Valley's most watched news team. This is News 8 Today in HD. Nearly three quarters of adults in the U.S. use a computer, either at work or at home, and those machines can get bogged down after a while with emails and downloads. Yeah, but now there is something that you can do to get that machine running just a little bit more efficiently. Let's check in with Ann Shannon. She joins us live in Harrisburg with more on this. Good morning, Ann. Good morning, guys. You know, January, if you didn't already know, is National Clean Out Your Computer Month. So it's a great month to start the new year and clean out all that stuff that you downloaded. You know, those videos and pictures and programs that you may not even be using. But how do you even get started? It's a little bit overwhelming. So we're joined this morning by Charles Palmer with Harrisburg University. Tell me, what do I do? Where do I start? Well, one of the things you want to start off with is the programs that you don't actually use on your computer any longer. Um, there's been a study done where we have about 10 to 15 percent of the programs we have installed, or we're only using 10 to 15 percent of the programs we have installed. So you want to remove those that you aren't using any longer, and we just accumulate those. So go in, select the icon of the program, right click on it, and look for remove programs, or go to your control panel, uh, which has a a process for actually facilitating the removal of the software because it's more than just that icon it's the other associated files with it you say there's also other stuff that you can delete what kind of things should I look for that I, I can also get rid of so one of the things is to make your computer more efficient you need as much space on it as possible and uh, the IT staff here at Harrisburg University makes a point of going around and, and double checking it and sort of policing the network and I'm sure other IT staffs at other places do but what you want to do is you want to look at all the files you have uh, that you're using and sort of figure out if you need them on your computer if you can move them to another storage device such as a DVD, a CD, or just an external hard drive. All right, well thank you very much for joining us this morning. We also want to mention that there's one don't. Do not delete anything that you don't know what it is. You want to kind of figure out what it is if you're not sure and uh, only delete things that you are absolutely sure you know what they do. We don't want to end up having more problems than we started with. That's the story here at Harrisburg University. Back to you guys. And Anne, that's great advice and that's yeah. what because I, I, I can go into my computer and, and start looking for things but so many of them I don't know what they are right so yeah. if you delete them you're paying a lot of money to have someone come back and put them back in <laughs> right cause <of> trouble <laughs> yeah so be cautious you bet all right thanks Ann